Welcome ladies and gentlemen on to this other edition of SE Weekly News and you are watching SE TV Africa. My name is Bias Chifiji and now we will turn our attention on to the news that are topping up with the headlines and then we will be back right after this uh, with the news in detail. You know the top stories this week? NSSF applications for the mid-term beneficiaries commence. The Ministry of Lands, Housing and Urban Development launches the Land Information System Public Portal. The youth encouraged to apply for the Youth to Work program by the challenges worldwide Uganda. These and more coming your way in this week's edition. Welcome back once again and here with the news in detail. We begin off with the NSSF story and in January 2022, His Excellency Yoweri Kaguta Museveni, the President of Uganda, assented to the NSSF bill allowing 20% of midterm access to the contributors who have served for over 10 years and are 45 years of age and also 40 years for the people with disabilities. Now, let's take a glimpse at this story compiled by Maureen Malemo. Hundreds of people have this month rogged national social security fund premises to apply for access to mid-term benefits of their contributions. The NSSF bill has established provisions for voluntary savings and made it mandatory for employers to remit NSSF savings for workers irrespective of the number of employees. According to the NSSF Managing Director, Mr. Vyaruhanga, a total of 41,174 members qualify for mid-term benefits and notifications have already been sent out to them. To access the benefits, one needs an NSSF number passport photo, valid bank account, phone number, and national identity card. All aiming at verifying one's identity, the first payments will be infected on March 17th this year. Maureen Malemo reporting for SETV News. Well, thank you so much, Maureen Malemo, for compiling that wonderful story. Now, we move forward, and here we speak land. And here, the Minister of Lands, Housing and Urban Development, Honorable Judith Nabakova, just launched the Land Information System Public Portal at the Uganda Media Center. So this, post, this portal rather is aimed at curbing down corruption among land officers and Sophia Nachmira was on ground and here she reports. As said by the minister, the ministry will start issuing digital land titles as government seeks to use automation to streamline land management in Uganda. This move was further informed by the need to curb corruption among land officers. The automation services are expected to begin this March, and the land's offices are expected to make online submission of transaction documents, such parcels, searching titles, as well as encumbrances, such as covets and court orders. Sophia Nachmera, reporting for SETV News. Okay, thank you, Sophia, for that story. Now, moving forward, here we look at the youth that have been encouraged to apply for the Youth to Work program by the Challenges Worldwide Uganda. Now, Challenges Worldwide Uganda is a company that creates jobs and secure income for people that are living in urban and, uh, centers and also cities. 
this is also to help the rural farmers to depend upon urban businesses to process, package and sell their goods and produce because earning their own money is the very first step towards reducing the need for charity or aid that helps communities to develop a stable way to support themselves and their communities. Let's take a look at this story. So I am Ashan Vivian, a senior associate at Challenges Uganda, where I'm also the program's lead managing the Youth to Work program. Challenges Worldwide is the charity arm of the Challenges Group, and the Challenges Group is a group of social enterprises spread across sub-Saharan Africa and headquartered in Edinburgh. And we are basically a social enterprise consultancy delivering uh, management consultancy services to SMEs. Youth to Work is an initiative of Future Makers by Standard Chartered. It is the bank's global initiative to support youth employability and it is funded by the Standard Chartered Foundation. The program in itself seeks to provide youth with skills and opportunities needed to create positive economic and employment changes across the economy. And it does this through working with SMEs who make up a great percentage of the businesses that we have in our economy in Uganda today. So what the program means for a business is over a period of five months, they are going to receive support in different areas. So beginning with a comprehensive business diagnostic, trying to, analy to an analyze and understand what the business's strengths are, what the weaknesses are, so as to fully understand how to take advantage of and also um, negate the challenges that the business is undergoing. And after this comprehensive diagnostic, a recommendation will be made by a junior consultant working with them into which areas to focus. Um, so the business will have to choose one of three pathways. So we have finance, we have marketing, and we have uh, operations and HR. So with a focus on this pathway, a junior associate will come and conduct an audit to try and understand how you have been running these operations and how you can improve. Yes, and as part of this, with the results from this, um, the young person can present recommendations into how to capitalize on some of the resources you have or how to uh, capture the problems that you are currently undergoing. Um, my name is Dr. Stephen Mugabe. Um, I'm the CEO and founder of Code Clinic. Code Clinic is a dental practice on Kira Road. For the last 10 years, uh, we're a general dental practice. We like to do preventive care because people come to us saying, oh, they hate and fear the dentist. So we try to turn around those stories by convincing them to go towards uh, preventive care because they never have to have painful procedures with that. Every time I've had an, uh, an encounter with the uh, youth to work, um, we've had improvements happening. The very first time I had um, um, I, I couldn't keep any staff here. It was my staff would go away after three months, but uh, after interacting with the consultants that had been sent my way, um, I was able to relate better, be a better leader for the people that I was I was leading on my team, and I've been able to you know keep them longer. They don't just go away because I'm intentional about being invested in them, genuinely liking them and finding out everything about them. Uh, the second time I had uh, someone come over, uh, we were advised on uh, options of expanding. We used to be in a smaller space. Uh, he told us either to get a bigger room or move to another, uh, or get, you know, like branches. So, and many other recommendations, but we'll just do a few at a time. Um, so we managed to move from one place to another, where we have, uh, we've doubled our capacity to see people. But also we have guidelines that should we be able to say we want to get another place, we know what criteria to use. So we've been capturing things like uh, where do people stay? So that the next time we are looking at where do we expand to, 
we know that maybe we should go where most of our clients uh, reside. So, Dr. Steven is a three-time beneficiary of the Youth to Work program and the opportunity is out here for businesses such as his that have not been embracing such an opportunity and many others out here. Sign up and use the opportunity. Dorina Inebalazi reporting for SETV Weekly News. Since the world has become interconnected, company content is a necessity. We provide high quality content to fit the consumer's different brands. By providing video coverage, photography, social media management, print production, web development, company branding, and many more. Reach us on our website at www.sosentmediaug.com and call us on 039-324-1411. Sourcing media, pitch your brand. Our Bagadeo, ngo mugeni na pabali wo, ngo inokpete nkanya no kozesa kubafu. Kwa wanga saina kapito egura, ili kozese wei bitu. Isaac Ayan, amanya gangeze Isaac Sabiti. Welcome back from that short commercial break. Now we move forward and here we speak masterclasses, uh, starting with Einstein Rising's masterclasses that are now back in action, much more bigger and better with the gender equality lens. Now, this being a month of the Break the Bias hashtag, we celebrate the International Women's Day 2022 with the notion that together we can break the biases in our communities, workplaces, and institutions or schools where we do work and stay. Now, this Thursday, the 31st of March 2022, the masterclass session will be happening and here we will be disclosing on how breaking boundaries is sharpening up in the entrepreneurial spaces for the female gender today. This is something that you cannot afford to miss and we urge you to uh, get in touch with us on all our social media platforms so you can get to attend uh, these masterclasses come Thursday the 31st of March. Now, lastly but not least tonight, we also speak our uh, entrepreneurship and here uh, we look at the SE for Africa uh, Business Accelerator program that is here for um, young and innovative creative entrepreneurs in the ecosystem that are looking forward to developing their businesses from scratch and also for those that are existing but are looking forward to uh, growing their businesses to the next level. So the SE for Africa program is here for you and we inform 
um, all the interested parties that uh, the call for applications for this year is still ongoing and you can apply via um, Einstein Rising's website that is at www.einsteinrising.org slash applications. There you will be able to get in touch with the team and they will be gladly waiting to get back to you in regard to whatever you will want to know about. Are you in need of support to get your social business off the ground? SE for Africa is the program for you. With the SE for Africa Business Accelerator program, you are offered hands-on business development training, one-on-one -on -one coaching, and more vital tools to help your business become sustainable and impactful. All participants that apply for the program also gain a prestigious opportunity to pitch their impactful social businesses to our ecosystem stakeholders like OVO, Yugefa, Yunus and other individual investors to earn a chance to get funding. To be part of the Business Accelerator Training Program, you only need to pay a subscription fee of $57 or 200,000 Ugandan shillings to help a business thrive. And if you wish for a platform to showcase your business and only be part of our pitching sessions with our stakeholders, you are required to pay $28 or 100,000 Ugandan shillings. Apply via our website at www.astenrising.org slash application. SE for Africa, an incentive to the acceleration of your business. So that said, uh, this now brings us to the wrap-up of uh, this week's news edition. Uh, my name is Pius Chifiji once again, uh, but uh, before we climax this, I still remind you to follow us on YouTube and all our social media platforms. We are at SETV Africa, and uh, until next time, I look forward to the next edition. Bye-bye.